Today, I wanna to talk to you about the six basic steps to going commercial solar. Your sales process must include all these steps from what we call prospect to profit. So here we go. Step number one is lead generation. How are you generating leads today? Are you doing it through door knocking? Are they self-generated? Are they generated from your company? Everything starts with a lead. The more leads you have, the more projects you're gonna get. Number two is the approach. After you get that lead, you wanna qualify that lead. First thing you do is you make a phone call. Do not send an email. Don't send an email. Make a phone call. If you get voicemail, leave a voicemail and say, hey, listen, I got your information. I want to talk to you about solar for your building. I'm going to send you a text. I'm going to send you an email as a follow-up. If you send an email first, you're just basically delaying the process. Get that email out after you leave your voicemail. Number three is qualifying your prospects. Now that you have the lead, you got a copy of the electric bill, you wanna actually walk through the entire process of qualifying this customer, because not everybody qualifies for solar. Even though everyone says they wanna have solar, not everybody qualifies for it. And the first thing you do is you get a copy of the bill. Copy of the bill is a sign of commitment. Once you get a copy of the bill, you wanna analyze how much they use per month, what their cost per kilowatt hour is. You gotta go through that process. You can either do it manually or you can use software. Once you understand how much they use, what their usage is, you can determine the size of the system. Don't forget, you also have to understand what the the roof looks like. Make sure you measure the roof so you can size up the system to fit the usage. Number four is the pitch or the proposal. This is actually your first meeting with your prospect. Now remember, you wanna meet with the decision maker, you don't wanna meet with just some other person who's grabbing all the data. So meeting with the decision maker. This is where you put together what we call the pro forma. The pro forma is a cash flow. It's gonna show you all of the information regarding the finances for the solar project. You wanna include the system size, you wanna include the system cost, the year one production, your annual production. All of these things are gonna be critical in the cash flow. First and foremost, you have to show the investment tax credit. Currently at the time of this recording, the investment tax credit is 26%. That means 26% of that that solar system is covered by a federal tax benefit, which means it's like the IRS is giving you a gift card worth 26% of the cost of the system. Then there's bonus depreciation. Depreciation basically is a cash benefit. Instead of taking that cash benefit over a 25 year period, you could do it over seven years, or if you have the opportunity to take advantage of that maker's depreciation in year one, you can get it all in the first year. That cash flow is gonna be so critical, and you have to be able to walk through those finances, because that's what the customer's gonna to wanna to know. How much is this gonna cost me? How much am I gonna get control of my operational expenses? How much tax benefits am I gonna save? And then finally, what are my environmental impacts gonna be? I love this part. This is overcoming objections. This is gonna be typical. You're always gonna come across someone who's gonna have an objection to your proposal. Uh, one of them is gonna be, listen, I don't wanna put holes in my roof. So how are you gonna handle that objection? Well, in commercial solar, you're not gonna put holes in the roof. It's gonna be held down by its own weight. Uh, others are gonna be, I'm gonna wait till the technology gets better. When you think about it, solar's been around for so long. There are solar panels up in space that have been running since the 1960s that are run at 4% efficiency. They don't break. The technology is not gonna get much better. Well, what if I sell my building? Well, if you sell your building and you own the system, increase the value of what the system would produce over the remaining years of the life. But overcoming those objections are gonna be so important, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down the five or six or seven or even 10 potential objection questions you're gonna get and have those answers ready. Don't be flip and respond to them right away. You wanna ask a question like, well, help me understand why that's a problem for you. Or maybe it sounds like this is a problem for you. Why don't we discuss it? Overcoming objections is gonna be the most critical part for you to get to the next step, which is closed one. Let's talk about closed one. This is where you get the signed letter of engagement or what we call a letter of intent. And sometimes you go right to contract. The critical thing about getting a closed one commercial project is you wanna get control of the process. And the first step in getting control of the process is asking for a letter of intent. Letter of intent just shows that they're putting skin in the game and you're gonna assign some resources. Again, these are called micro commitments. One of the micro commitments in commercial solar is absolutely going to be get a letter of intent, get some letter of engagement, get some notice to proceed. You wanna have something in place that moves it down the field. And then ultimately, your closed one deal is gonna be a signed agreement with a deposit and the financing's all set up. Closing commercial solar projects is not like residential. It doesn't happen in one call and it doesn't happen overnight. It's a financial sell. Now imagine buying a piece of gum at the store, right? You know it's five cents or 50 cents, and you're gonna pay 50 cents, that's like residential solar. It's 50 cents, you either buy it or use your credit card and then it's done. In commercial, it's different. You're dealing with a business owner who's making an investment into a revenue producing asset up on the roof. Your goal when selling commercial solar or understanding the steps is you have to be able to thread the needle right through the process and all the six steps that we covered. Talking to the prospect, right on through creating the profit. So congratulations, you've now won your first solar project.